Hello everyone, Busy Gamer Dad back again. I'm going to be doing another session gameplay series here on the Busy Gamer Dad channel. If you don't know what a session gameplay series is here, we take a look at a game over the course of three episodes for about 20 to 30 minutes, sometimes a little bit longer. This week we're taking a look at a remaster, is what I will call it, of Wizardry, Proving Ground of the Mad King. I felt it was important to include this little opening disclaimer statement from the developers. Wizardry Proving, Ground, Wizardry Proving Ground of the Mad Overlord appeared first on the Apple II in September 1981. Most of today's popular games were based on this type of uh, gameplay, this dungeon crawl mechanic, and the developers redid the original, or redid this, or remastered this game over top, and directly over top, I should say, according to what they say, uh, of the original game and any place that they may have made a significant change from the original for quality of life purposes or more traditional or modern uh, purposes they actually have an old school option built into the menu now all that means basically is that it seems like they were very faithful to the core material and you have the ability to play the game as they foresaw it to be or rather how they believed it to be using the direct code or direct ideas and then they just zhuzhed it up with some visuals. I've looked at this game, I thought it was a lot of fun for us to take a look at because I'm feeling in a retro mood and I think that a lot of today's games uh, are really great but you showing you guys some of the older games and where things may have come from to create the ideas that are today and the systems that are in play today, I think is really useful for the gamer to maybe actually get some nuance into how those systems work and how to better live within those systems and manipulate those systems in positive and negative ways, game breaking ways and to increase the challenge and difficulty of it. But first our dad joke. You ready? This one's a good one. The most dangerous kind of canoes are vol canoes. So good luck saying volcanoes without saying volcanoes now. Go ahead, look it up, look how it's spelled, and you will thank me later. I am certain of it. All right, on with the game. So this uh, game I have yet to play. I got it on sale. It just came out, I believe, uh, fairly recently. And I wanted to dive in. Our first gameplay for the session gameplay series is usually me coming in cold to a game. If there's a tutorial, I'll play through it with you guys, but I might edit it out if I feel like the co content's kind of not relevant or not as juicy as I would like it to be. Um, or I'll keep it in depending on if the content is worth it. And I feel like it's something that you guys uh, might need to see to really make you feel like you understand the systems in the game and if it's actually something you want to play for yourselves. So in a new game, we're going to create our adventure. Busy gamer dad. And then getting started. In this remake, you start a new game with a starter party of six pre-made level two characters of varying classes. Visit the training grounds to make your own characters or edit existing ones to your liking. All new characters start with basic armor and weapons already equipped. Visit Gilgamesh's tavern to add, remove, or reconfigure members of your party. Got it. Okay, so the hallmark of wizardry, as I remember it and playing it, is that it is deeply customizable in the sense of like D&D-esque kind of campaigns where you can control the uh, classes of your characters through dice rolls and stats and various other things. So in that vein, I want to take a look at the training ground and I want to inspect our characters. So we have a fighter, a priest, another fighter, a thief, a bishop, and a mage. All pretty standard stuff. There were somewhat, we'll say, hidden classes. Like there was a samurai class, there was a ninja class, there was a couple other uh, high-end caster classes that were all hidden behind very specific dice rolls and very rare dice rolls that's why they were hidden is because when you rolled the dies for your stats and where you drop them that would directly influence the ca uh, classes that were available for you so case in point your fighters had to have a certain threshold of strength your thieves had to have a certain uh, agility and your bishops and your healers had you know certain thresholds for their various intellect and various uh, piety it looks like 
Um, I'm not certain if it was piety throughout the entire series. I thought it was something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. But <clears throat> that was the uh, give and take of the game. And it was a random stat generator or random dice roll generating system that you could do to create um, your party and create your characters. And you could name them all if you really wanted to change the name on them. And it looks like they're not going to give me that ability to do that. And that's fine. That's not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to go through and I'm going to create a few characters here. Uh, with you guys and we'll see what we can get to look for for ourselves let's do let's start with the standard one and it looks like there's some okay they're just giving us a distribution of the 12 points so and it looks like some of the classes are yeah okay so we have do we have which do we have in our party again we have two humans a dwarf a gnome and an elf so we do have all four classes or races represented we have the halfling too, the halfling thief. Okay, cool. All right, so just for the fun of it, let's go into, I <laughs> I like that they have everything represented by the ears. That's very interesting to me. Um, looks like we'll just do the humans and then we'll distribute our classes. So available classes, thief, bishop, samurai. See, there, there it is right there. So you need to have seven in your strengths six more in your strength so it's letting you so this is the threshold for creating those characters so very specific um races it looks like would be able to be a samurai i don't think that we'll be able to get to this in any way piety is you need another 10 and vitality and agility yeah i'm not certain how you would be able to get to that with just the human you might need to be a different race, and that may be something that's unlocked at a later date. Um, I do like the the ability to choose which way you go with your classes, though. Let me see here. We'll, we'll do... What does Vitality do? Vitality is just for your life force. Um, yeah, so you can really just lean into being a super good thief with some strength and probably a lot of luck is where I want to go and we'll put one in vitality and we'll confirm that um, let's have ourselves be neutral thief and neutrality and then oh some angry faces here uh, let's see here kind of like this guy Yeah, let's do that. Cool, awesome. And then we'll just make him Busy Gamer. There, awesome. Cool, Busy Gamer has been added to the roster. Now I wanna see how he compares to our guy here. So they just went all in on luck and, um, luck and agility. Definitely has better Maybe it's because also the racial bonus for being a uh, being a uh, halfling as well. So that's interesting. We'll see what uh, what comes of it. I don't think there's going to be anything too bad about it. I think they're going to you know set us up for success in a lot of ways, not not for failure. Because you're you're meant to learn the ropes here. We can delete a character. We can edit a character sheet. All right, let's return to the courtyard. So that is the the crux of the game because you can create a lot of characters and have a deep roster this isn't like uh, a recent session gameplay where it's like darkest dungeon where i don't believe your characters are going to really have too much time uh being damaged or out of the the swing of things you're gonna stick with your main group of uh people in your party the whole time and you know you will go through and you will have people stay at the inn and you will have people recover it's not that you won't trade certain people out you will need some depth in your bench but i think that the ideal here is that you're going to um it looks like we have see your no i don't want to i don't want to remove anybody from the party i want to change positions i think actually no he's our priest so yeah he should stay in the back line okay cool so <clears throat> it looks like they have basic equipment as well like they said so what we're going to do is we're just going to enter the maze proper right now and the maze is the game that's the game you have two elements of the game you have the party creation portion of it in this overworld kind of setting where you have 
um, your character creator, you have your in for leveling up and resting those characters, recovering each, uh, HP, hit points, etc. Maybe status effects. You can manage the party at the tavern. Then you have the uh, uh, the shrine, the temple for resurrecting characters or uh, restoring things. And then you also have your shop, which you can use to buy, sell, remove cursed items and identify items. And it looks like everything that we have it, it just it's exactly as it said we don't need anything it looks like all our characters are pretty well furnished and equipped i don't think there's any need for us well i mean nobody has any real armor at this point and our frontliners really should have armor that's like oh no they do have the chain mail okay cool and our back line has leather armor okay everybody has the armor and the things that they need all right cool that's good stuff um Wow, those consumables are really expensive, though. Oh, and a plus two staff is 2,500 jeepers. All right, cool. I didn't realize we were that broke. All right, well, let's get ourselves into the maze. We have a good party. This is a balanced party. It's exactly what you want. You want some good frontliners, and you have some good people in the back line for spell casting and uh, other things. Uh, I'm going to talk about the game as I remember it. And if I get anything wrong while I'm down in here, please feel free to leave a comment in a constructive way. Don't call me out on it in a bad way. And let's engage in some banter. I do love these styles of games, these dungeon plunging kind of games, working through them and finding the subtleties. And then I do like playing games that have been remastered because I want to see how much they align with what I remember the game to be. So if you've taken your first steps into the fable le maze of Legamni, <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to leave that there. That was only a short time ago that Overlord Tybor sent out the call beckoning the country's adventurers to come to this place. The story at is, it, uh, as it was told was that his one-time friend and advisor, the wizard Werden, Werdena? Yeah, Werd, Werdena had uh, stolen the Overlord's prized amulet and escaped with it into the mysterious maze. A dungeon built of magic, chaos, and death. The Overlord promised power and the rank of honor guard to any adventurer who recovers the amulet. And so you came here. The hall... Okay, so we're looking to get through the maze to get the amulet back. Now, we don't, as I understand it... Um, so I'm turning with my mouse keys here. I believe you can turn with WASD. Okay, so I'm turning with my keyboard keys here. Um... I don't think that we have anything to worry about. So this is our map over here, but also in the bottom corner right here, you can see that this is what the game looked like back in the day. This is your your uh, text box down here. This is the uh, graphics of what was going on on screen. You had spell effects in play. You had forward, left, right, all that stuff. You could camp. I don't think there's anything. Yep, <laughs> running into the walls makes you say, ow. Um, yeah, so it doesn't look like we have free look, and then, oh, we have an encounter. Okay, cool. Five skeletons. Interesting. I like the models. Both the models. I remember, That's exactly how I remember it, too. All right, so it looks like we go first. Parry, inspect enemy, run. I don't think I get to pick who I hit. I think it's random. I don't know, and it... I can dispel undead. I don't want to do that just yet. I'd rather just melee fight because I believe our magic is finite in the sense of like we don't have um, infinite uses on it. So and it looks like we'll have him inspect. Let's test that out. Little fire. Bad air. Okay, so let's do... Yeah, I think this is the number of uses that we have. So... I don't think we're able to actually really do too much until we rest. So I'd rather have you parry and you inspect the enemy. And then, so we've taken all our actions, assigned our order, and then we click fight. And then we just see how the round progresses. Two damage. Instantly knock that guy. And we have our armor right here, and we're blocking, we're parrying. Observe failed to learn about the kobolds. Failed to, and so this is our text box right here telling us about things. And now they regroup. And that makes sense. So they have the same abilities that we do, where they can have enemies in the back row as well as in the front row. And I don't know if I want to... If the Dispel Undead is not unlimited, that's a bad thing. But I'm going to try it and see what happens, and then we'll have 
everybody else just inspect the enemy. Because they can't do anything from the back row. I don't remember... Oh, wow. Five damage. That's a bit harsh. Oh, and she just wiped out all of those with her dispel. And then they regroup. Okay, cool. So now we're just going to have to go into... I don't think we're going to be able to learn anything more. Two times. Be able to learn. Be able to learn anything new. Okay, so, yeah, we were... There, finished him off. Cool. First victory. Nice, and we get the ba 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 bas Undead kobolds, experience, total party. Each receive 10 gold. So how do I heal? Let me think here. So I can do camp. I can inspect. If we go in the room, I don't think there's anything around for us. Now, if I go into... If I click escape. Let me see here. The bestiary. So that's... Okay, so we have the bestiary right there. If I do C, camp menu, and it looks like we can... Yeah, so our text prompts are over here. So that's how I hit the, the C key, and if I go back out. So C is camp, quick, time. So I don't know what T would do, and I don't know what Q would do. Looks like Q puts me off to the side there in a diagonal fashion. And then nothing there, but if I hit C, key inventory here... Actually, let me... Are any of you... Here. Here. So bad air, little fire items. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have... This is like advanced spells here. Okay. And then blessing... The 1 to 8. So these are the arcane, arcane schools, and this is the... Um, Divine spells. Okay, so being that she is the... Gotcha. Okay, she's the cleric. She has this. And Dios is our heal. And I want her to cast it on herself. So it's a random roll. Okay. And then that went down by one. Makes sense. Um, What is this exactly? Return party to town. Return. Okay, remove... Interesting. We can actually choose to kick somebody from the group. I don't know if I want to do that. And it looks like we have the camp over here, so... Oh! I was locked in here with small humanoids. What are they? What would they be? Orcs? Small humanoids. So we don't even know what they are, because we haven't identified them yet, so that's no good. We're going to have to fight them. I'm pretty certain that they're not going to be easy to deal with. Sleep monster group. I think I want to do that. And then can you... Informs you of party's exact displacement from the stairs, castle vertical. Oh, okay, so this is a location spell. Okay. Nice. Um, we'll have you inspect as well. And then we'll kick this off. Oh, there. One guy ran away. They, they're fleeing. And then he ran away. We only got two of them. All right. Cool. So I'm so we got 10 gold each. So now I'm just going to go down this way. Map. Oh, M brings it up in the middle of the screen. That's fun. That's nice. Okay, cool. Oh, and it makes it disappear. Okay, so I li I like having that in the bottom corner. Um, what's down here? Anything? Hello? Yeah, it looks like this is pretty, pretty straightforward, pretty linear first floor. Makes sense. It's got the training wheels on. We're able to walk through it pretty easily. He says, and now he's encountered slimes. We'll see. Bubbly slimes. I don't know if these are going to be a hard fight for us to win or not we'll have them fight learn anything failed to learn anything so they didn't get through our defenses there and didn't get our defenses there now they reorganized and now we're just going to refight over again and then we'll inspect i want to learn more about them because i have a feeling that plays into observe okay Observe new details about Bubbly Slime, and that's going to be good for the bestiary. 
Nice. Good stuff. Oh, probably best to let me inspect the chest. It could be trapped. So, this is a very common thing in the wizardry games. At the end of some fights, there will be a chest on the ground. And they are quite oftentimes um, uh, booby-trapped. So, you can see here, having them... Uh, having the percentages displayed on here is actually a huge quality of life. Before, you had to basically just pick your thief, and then they were just fodder for the trap anyways. Um, there is... I'm going to say inspect. Is there a disarm? I'm going to disarm the trap. Have you disarmed the trap? And then you have... Oh, okay. Alright, so we have to guess what it is. Interesting. Okay, so I had a, I should have him inspect the trap first. And then he might be able to tell us what was there. Oh, and he's 80% certain that it's trapless. Okay, so then I'll have him open the chest if he's so sure. Hey, we got money from it. Nice. Good stuff. Nice. Awesome. And then through the door here. So it looks like this is a pretty good party to have. I would like to know if there is a over map beyond this guy right here that I can look at and see. Because I know this brings up the map there, but I'm wondering if there's key inventory. So character inventory allows me to bring up the character's inventory and look at items and inspect the character. Okay, so that's the C key. Um, I don't need any of that right now. X, Z, doesn't look, yeah, and shift does the same thing, tab doesn't do anything, okay, and I, I'll leave it for now, I'll play with the keys offline to see, because this is just the first floor, so I'm not terribly concerned, oh, gotta click the door to open it, uh, I feel like this is progress, but we'll see, small humanoids again, is it gonna be the same kind, no, these are the rats, or maybe some different, or they were kobolds, Oh no, we were surprised, and they ran away. Yep, so these are kobolds that were running away, and they are attempting to... Well, so they did three damage to Hawkwind. <clears throat> um, we'll have them do that, and then we'll have them inspect right here. And f Looks like they hit me, and they're running away. And I missed. And oh man, Hawkwind took another hit. Alright, so I desperately need to have you healed after this. No, I don't want you to... How do I go back to the previous character? Z? Right there. Okay, cool. And inspect, inspect, inspect. Oh, he blocked. Hawkwind getting his revenge. Nice. Okay. Nice. Awesome. Oh, and there's another chest. Let's have him inspect the chest. Trapless. Alright, fine. Let's have him open the chest. And money. Cool. Awesome. Uh, let's see here. Character sheet open. She can still heal, but I thought we could camp. I don't think that we can do anything else in here. I wonder if the maze is static. I don't think the maze is static. I'm not entirely sure. But, um... We'll, we'll test that theory when we leave. And come back in. Uh, let's go this way. And see what's around in this hall. Yeah, it looks like there's quite a bit, actually. Oh, wow. This first floor is huge. Okay, so there's the stairs down. We're not ready for that yet, for certain. So let's go in here. Nothing here. This room's an encounter. I figured as much. Undead kobolds this time. Which is what we fought last time. They're level... There's two of them. Not. Le I'm not sure they're level... Oh, they probably are level two. And there's two of them. Gotcha. Okay, it's cool. Uh, let's fight fight and then we'll have you do inspects and have you do inspect and inspect i don't think there's going to be too much depth to them so 
Looks like we got the drop on them. And then we'll just have them defend or parry. Yeah, it looks like we just dispatched him pretty handedly. Pretty readily, as it were. Another chest. So like I said, it's common. A crossbow bolt. Okay, let's see if you can actually disarm it. Crossbow bolts. Hey! Even if it wasn't a bad explosive chest of doom, having him there to do that is huge. And that's the thieves' main function in the party. I don't know if you can get a bow for ranged attacks. Um, I never really made it that far. I only ever really enjoyed the character creation portion of it, and I liked seeing the different nuances that you can make for your characters and your party. Um, that to me was a lot of fun. Oh, kobolds, or yeah, kobolds and undead kobolds. So this is the, this will be interesting. We're gonna have our, uh, we're gonna cast some spells. Uh, let's have you, well, he can only hit the front row. So yeah, you're gonna have to hit the front row and then dispel undead on the front row. And then you fight the front row as well. Uh, I don't know if I can target the back row. I think I can't with this. It's not gonna let me. Or at least it's not letting me. I don't know if there's a... So hitting the alt key allows me to bring up the information I do know about them. That's nice. And it gives me a little monster number. Um, yeah, it looks like the... It looks like we're not able to really do anything. Clicking on them doesn't do anything. I'm not certain why it's not letting me uh, do that. So I guess I'll just have them parry. Um, he's only got one spell left, so I'm just going to have him parry. And I'm going to hold off on him casting spells right now as well. Because those kobolds just ran away last time. Ouch. Alright, she did a good job. Nope, he's dead now. So, yep, we just got destroyed real quick. And they, swip they swapped lines. So now he's up in the front row. Uh, have her attack this group. Have Hawkins attack this group. Have him attack this group. Have you bad air this group. And have you little fire that group. That's okay. Fight it off. Let's see. One damage. Lock. No. She took four. It's interesting that they can hit from the back line and we can't with their melee weapons. That's a bit unfortunate. Well, that was a cool spell effect. Fell asleep. Oh, cool. Nice. I wish I could see the effect on them at all times, but not a big deal. Um, she needs to cast a heal, I think. Hmm... You know what? Let's let's just swing for the fences and get this over with. I think this game is smart enough, and I say this as a I think situation. <clears throat> I think it's smart enough to if we kill this guy, it will um Well, it doesn't look like we're actually gonna finish him off. Oh there it goes. Okay, cool. So they'll shift to the front and then he, Hawkwind will actually be able to attack. No, he won't. Interesting, so it actually did stick to the old school method. You have to fight the... Whatever you click on is what you've targeted. And if it's dead before your turn... It's dead before your turn. And we pulled them forward and we... Oh, we got a free round! That's what happened. That's not bad at all, actually. That was cool. That was not bad at all. So we killed everyone in the front row and it pulled them forward and then we were able to get... A free round. Nice. Awesome. Unfortunately... It says Mir is dead and that was a big grip of experience to to have him yeah we should have we could use some rest and abilities at the end to train up so let's see here how can i get back to the inn fast let's get ourselves back out of here so if we go back this way no i need you to yep i know <clears throat> so if i can do there was a way for us to get out of here quickly, wasn't there? I want to say there was. Because those four can level up. Let me see here. 
Doesn't look like we actually can tr teleport. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can actually teleport out of here. I thought we could, but I guess that's a wrong statement. So, let's get back out of here. Let's get this way. And then it was back this way. Oh, this way. And down this corridor. Nope, that's the way to the next floor. We don't want that. We want out. And there was this kind of hooked over here. And down this way. Oh, we got another encounter. Undead Kobold. So it looks like she can do <clears throat> her Dispel Undead every fight. But it looks like we're surprised, so we'll see what happens here. Looks like our shields are... Oh, nope, he's dead. So, we'll have that happen. We'll have that happen. And then, fight, and... Since we're going out of here anyways, lay down the smack. And she's dead, question mark? I like the spell effects. They're actually really cool. I like the little burst effects. They're fun. And it looks like she just dispatched two of them. Do it again. And there, and just, just defend. Oh, they blocked. Now, if we run, we actually lose all our experience that we would have gained from fighting and killing any of them. So I'm going to have her keep swinging for the fences. I'm going to have everybody keep doing what they're doing. She went first, and she got them. Nice. Cool. All right, so I'm going to leave this episode here. Busy Gamer Dad showing you wizardry. Um, the remake of... Uh, Arcade Classic, or I should say, um, Arcane Classic. Uh, the Wizardry series it is got just as much of a history as Final Fantasy, as Dragon Warrior, uh, it, it, Dragon Quest, I should say. Um, it has a lot of great uh, inner introductory systems for what you see in today's games, and that's really what this game seems to have built off of. Like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. We'll pick up the next episode after I've gone back to town done a little bit of shopkeeping housekeeping maybe made a character or two i'm not certain and we'll see you then later